Hey folks, it's been a few weeks since my last message and there's been a lot going on behind the scenes. So I thought I'd give you a little update about what I've been working on, or should I say what we've been working on? And I'll start with that little bit of news. So last month I put out the call for a UI UX designer that stands for user interface slash user experience. I was looking for someone who could help me craft the look and feel of the new strum machine features that I'm working on. I, yeah, I found someone. So let me introduce you to, drum roll please, Tyler Stiegel. So as you can see, Tyler is a musician himself. He's been a user of Strum Machine for many years now, so he really knows the product. Not only that, but he is a very talented designer. He's been in the field for like around 10 years, uh, has worked on different apps and, and for different companies. One of them, in fact, is a different music related uh, company, which is pretty cool. It's just been such a joy to, to be collaborating with him. Not only has he just got great ideas, but he's really enthusiastic and kind and supportive. And uh, like our, our initial call was supposed to be a half an hour call, but it ended up being a two hour call because we were just so excited talking about the future of Strum Machine and getting all jazzed up. So. Welcome to the team, Tyler. And a couple quick plugs. He didn't ask me to do this, but his band is High Water Line out of San Francisco. And uh, his portfolio, his website, if you want to take a look, is tylerstiegel.com. So the big project we've been tackling over the past couple weeks has been redesigning the band settings menu. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the old version looks like. Uh, we wanted to make some changes to uh, pave the way for things that I'm going to be adding, like more strumming patterns, more stylistic choices and embellishments you'll be able to, able to add to the instrumentation. Just today, I published the beta version that incorporates this new design, which I'm not going to show you here because I want you to see it for yourself and I want to suggest something to you. When you log into the beta site right now, you're going to see a message that says uh, you can record your screen and send it to me. So this is a new thing I'm trying out. Uh, it records your screen and your microphone, not your camera. So I won't see you, but I'll see what you're seeing and you can narrate what your impressions are uh, as you explore the new band settings menu in this case. That recording will be sent to me. There's nothing to download or upload or install. It should be really simple and easy. And uh, this is just a way for us to gather feedback about this uh, new design because, you know, we we hope you like it, but we also really want to get your any feedback, positive or negative. This whole screen recording thing is sort of a dry run because I, I feel like most people are going to like this new band settings menu. Uh, but the next update that I'm working on is I'm a lot more unsure about because um, there's more opportunity to have things be too complicated or unclear. So um, having this process of gathering this kind of feedback live, seeing and hearing what you think as you see it, that kind of feedback I think could be so helpful. So I want to see how this goes. Um, I hope you're you're down to try it out. If not, that's totally cool. If you want to just send old fashioned uh, written feedback through the help menu, that is also totally great. And uh, And thank you so much. And with that, I'll leave you to it. You can go to beta.strummachine.com to check out the new design. And I will leave you with a little teaser of what I've been working on uh, for the next update. Hopefully in a few weeks, I'll be announcing that. Um, but what you're going to be hearing here is me playing along with the unedited audio from the development version of Strum Machine. So you can hear uh, what's coming next.